on the front lines in Ukraine, the life-saving value of armored vehicles made clear. A Russian mine strike on Ukrainian troops with no injuries or deaths. In a war that has seen heavy munitions and mine strikes kill many, the protection offered by armored vehicles is in high demand. Canada has stepped up by pledging 39 armored vehicles manufactured by General Dynamics Land Systems Canada and another eight armored personnel carriers from Ontario-based Rochelle. Defence Minister Anita Anand says the government wants to become a leader in NATO in providing vehicles to Ukraine. An angle the Canadian government has also been pumping behind closed doors with allies. But how realistic is that promise? Armored vehicles, land vehicles are a key focus of uh, the defence industrial base in Canada. and I think So it's no accident that that's what one of the things we ended up sending to Ukraine. Perry said armored vehicles are a logical choice for Canada, but with an important caveat. The government would have to act quickly and make significant investments in order to deliver on the promise. There's no timeline, no context. Mark Canada. Popov, who led armored combat teams in Afghanistan, says he's dubious the minister can make good on her statements. Canada simply does not have the ability to manufacture mass amounts of armored vehicles and become a world leader in this compared to uh, our own NATO allies. Canada would likely need other countries to set aside their national interest in defense contractors and agree to buy Canadian instead. It's not clear if that will happen and the Canadian government would need to commit a lot more than a few dozen vehicles to help Ukraine. That requires sort of policy follow through and, and a constant provision and, and thus far that's not been that's not, they haven't shown a, a great track record of that. There is, however, a twist in all of this. While funding for armored vehicles plays well in boat-rich ridings where they're manufactured in Canada, it could also delay how quickly the Canadian Army gets its own equipment. Donna? Mercedes, thanks.